Good morning. It's me again. I just had my treatment and I thought I would talk today about the efficacy of TMS. How successful is it? I had a really awesome appointment with my rheumatologist on Monday, who is amazing and a genius. And he brought up a really good point that I thought I would share with you all. So TMS has really been working for me and everyone's biology is different and everyone's biochemistry is different. So whatever mine is, it seems to respond really well to TMS. So while I can't promise that TMS will work for every single person that tries it, I can tell you that it's working for me, which is amazing. So that actually prompted me to look up again the efficacy of it, how well it works. I had before I started, uh, but listen to this. Most TMS providers find that TMS has a success rate at between 70 or 80%, meaning that the vast majority of individuals find significant relief after treatment. About 50% of people experience complete remission. Those are really high stats, like really high. And it is FDA approved, which is awesome. These are details I think that I should remind you of in case you're considering this treatment. So it has been really good for me. <sighs> and then I see like right under, can TMS damage the brain? No, TMS doesn't cause brain damage. This is assuming that all the screening measures are taken and that there are no contraindications to the magnetic treatment, as in no metals in the brain. So if you have a metal implant in your brain, you might want to tell them. <laughs> Anyhow, those are a couple of fun facts for today. And I've decided, so I also have fibromyalgia and I know that that's a totally stereotyped condition and it shouldn't be. Uh, chronic pain is real and there's evidence that fibromyalgia is real. Science has advanced folks. I'm on two medications for that. I kind of want to see if my pain is getting better on TMS too. So I'm starting to wean off one of those medications. I'm just curious because I know that chronic pain and neural pathways and depression, it's all just a vicious cycle. And I think it's all related too. So that is an exciting part of my journey to announce that I am starting and I will let you know about that. It might not work, but it might, it's a good time to try. And that was my stomach. Did you hear that? <laughs> I'm hungry. I just rolled out of bed and it was funny. Uh, I don't know if she wants me to use her name, so I'll make up one. I'll, let's call her Zelda. Zelda was like, oh, you have such pretty hair. And then I was that totally annoying person that said, oh, I just rolled out of bed, which I did and I didn't brush it. So that makes me feel good about not brushing my hair before treatment. This is totally rambling, but I'm just trying to think of something to entertain you because I'm kind of uh, tired and slow going today. <sighs> but overall, I'm still feeling pretty decent. So tomorrow's Friday, which means it's the last treatment for this week. And then it means the weekend recap, not roundup recap, uh, where I will explain a lot more about the TMS dip. And I'll probably talk to you more about the efficacy thing. And maybe you should even see my cats here. Let's insert a quick cat video just to spice things up a bit. What do we have here? Somebody drinking out of a water glass? Busted? You got the camera? Oh my gosh, get the camera. What are you doing? What are you doing? You got me? Oh, you're getting me. Oh my gosh. Francois. Boom. He's so cute. Okay. I'll see you soon. Bye.